Hey guys, Ryan here. You'll be happy to know that we are stationed at the beautiful Hall of Fame in Fort Lauderdale for the rest of the summer. So uh, keep an eye on the rest of the videos. Today we are interviewing Dave Gibson of the Swim Fort Lauderdale Aquatics to hear about one of his favorite drills for freestyle. Thank you. Hey guys, this is uh, head coach Dave Gibson with Swim Fort Lauderdale. And uh, we're gonna look at a little drill that if you've got somebody not finishing their freestyle stroke all the way, or maybe they're not rolling quite enough, this is uh, proved to be beneficial or helpful for those swimmers. So what we're gonna do with this drill is to help you finish your freestyle stroke. This is uh, gonna be called the kickboard freestyle finish drill. Uh, or if your swimmer's not rolling quite enough, you'll place the kickboard between their legs and try to tap the board back here as they finish their stroke and they come through and finish. One of the common flaws for especially young age groupers, but a lot of uh, even older swimmers, is they don't get very good distance per stroke because they don't finish their stroke through the back end. So we're trying to improve on that. Look for what we're gonna show with the uh, short stroke and we'll work on a longer stroke through the back. The way we're gonna do this drill today, I think there's three different ways we can work on the kickboard finish drill for freestyle. You can do it single arm, you could do it as a catch up stroke, and you could do it as a full stroke and we'll try those three and see what it looks like. When trying this drill or when you're trying this during a workout set, I would encourage you to go maybe 75s of freestyle with the kickboard uh, or 100, one or two laps single arm, a lap of uh, catch up and a, a lap of full stroke freestyle. And then maybe drop the board, do the same drills and full stroke without trying to duplicate what you did with the kickboard finish drill. Thanks for watching. Woo!